Hello, hi. Um, so I've just come coming to the end of a 24 hour fast. Um, so I just thought I'd do a quick video and just share some of the tips that might help um, some people who, who might be thinking about doing a fast and might feel like they can't do it. So these are just some like tips that have really helped me through. Um, so obviously 24 hours is not you know, a massive fast, but it still really does help to um, just reset your reset your system and you know clear your energy. Um, so I'm going to do five tips. And um, the first tip is stay hydrated. So just drink plenty of water. And um, it really does like keep your body energized, and also like it helps to flush out like any toxins that like might have been on the body and it just helps shift that away um, and also it helps to suppress your hunger and um, so a lot of the time we feel like we're, we're hungry when actually we are thirsty so number two um, movement get some exercise um, so just go for a little jog a brisk walk or do some yoga stretches just you know high impact as you want as long as you're moving your body and keeping that energy flowing and your blood flowing you will feel good and you'll feel uplifted and yeah it's just it's just good just it's good to move and um, the next one keep busy so i cannot state this enough keep yourself busy because without you realizing like you end up with a lot more time like in your day um, and that's not because you're always thinking about food it's because when you think about it food like takes up so much of your day like if you if you make breakfast dinner and tea how much time do you do you spend like preparing the food and then actually cooking the food and then eating the food and then cleaning up the food? So like there's a lot of time that goes into that. So, you know, if you're not eating for the day, you're going to free up a lot of time. So write yourself a list of what you want to do that day. Like no matter how big or small it is, just find stuff that you can do. Um, it can be small things like, you know, take the rubbish out or declutter your wardrobe, um, you know, visit family, like anything that can fill up your day, um, do it um, and write it because it will help you as well. Like, because when the brain does turn around and say like, oh, I'm hungry, um, you've got something to focus on and look at and go, oh, actually, I can do this, I can do that, rather than feeding into the fact that you might be a little bit hungry. Um, so, yeah, I found that writing a list is really, really, really good. Number four is read and watch. <coughs> read and watch any, like, videos on YouTube or, you know, any blogs or, like, any books. Um, this is really good because... Especially if you're doing a fast from home and you've got family and you you cooking for your husband and your and your children and um yeah so you're in the kitchen and you know there's no getting away from it type of thing and the temptation is always there um so it's good to just read things and you know watch videos so you can see other people's experiences and it like really does encourage you um, to keep on track and keep focused on what you want to achieve. Um, and the last one is plenty of sleep. So after your busy day um, of doing all your to-do list and you're all made up because all your house is all clean and you're all happy because you've accomplished stuff, um, just get yourself some sleep. Yeah, a good night's sleep, um, and then it's up to you. Then, if you want to do that for after you've been asleep, you can carry on the fast and do it for another twenty four hours and keep on the same track, 
or if you just want to do a quick reset, um, 24 hours is also good. Um, let me know if you've got any questions or, you know, if there's just anything you want to ask about fasting. I've experienced long fasts and, and shorter fasts and I just thought it'd be good to share it with some people um, if people are thinking about doing them. Um, just little tips that have helped me through and hopefully they'll help others too. I wanna see you.